special video today, um, which is going to be sort of like an update on just what I'm doing, my thyroid uh, cannabis treatment, and some other cannabis products that I've been using. I'm going to be sharing with you different methods of consumption that I'm exploring. So let's get into it. <laughs> I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in April of this year. It is currently October. And um, I presented my um, care providers with, with my decision to use cannabis as a form of treatment to um, kind of avoid having to have a thyroidectomy, which is having my thyroid completely removed. Um, so my primary course of treatment um, will be using RSO. Um, the treatment is 60 grams of RSO for um, throughout the 60 to 90 day period. Um, so I've been exploring, uh, you know, different methods and different avenues to go um, to go down and as far as taking this treatment. Um, there has been a lot of, uh, I want to say issues, I guess, in regards to just, you know, getting the RSO in itself. So let me just say this. My medical cannabis patient application took 10 months to go through. So it took me that long to become a medical cannabis patient in order to even go to the dispensary and get cannabis um, legally. So that happened in May of this year, um, about a month or two after I found out about the diagnosis. So since then, I've been just kind of building my tolerance and learning about different cultivators in Maryland and trying different products, seeing what works best for me, learning about terpenes and cannabinoid profiles and all that good stuff, which has been wonderful. But I've run into some other issues I'm realizing um, with the medical cannabis program here and how um, that can possibly in impact my treatment. So this is RSO. This is how it's usually sold in dispensaries. This is from a brand um, called Verano, which is really popular out here. It's supposed to be like one of the better brands, but that's also subjective. We'll talk about that another time. But this is what it looks like. This is a one gram syringe. And this is what the RSO um, comes in. This is a one gram syringe of RSO. And the strain of this particular RSO is called Jack Herrera number eight. Um, this should be like um, a hybrid type um, feel to it. So really balanced um, indica sativa type of feel. And I definitely got that from this. Um, but probably more like into cleaning. It was pretty great compared to the other um, <laughs> RSOs I've tried um, from other cultivators. This was pretty good. I thought it was more like a, a hybrid, but this actually says it's a sativa. So yeah, that's awesome. I didn't really get that from this, but that's another thing with the strain name Dilemma. This one gram syringe cost $65 and here in Maryland RSO one gram syringes usually range from about $60 to $80 and um, for the course of my treatment for the diagnosis of thyroid cancer um, I will need 60 <laughs> 60 grams this is one gram I will need 60 of these so 60 grams um, so you can do the math 60 grams times 60 to 80 dollars is very expensive of course our insurance does not cover it um, and yeah there's other things that I also have to worry about as far as like um, my limits uh, as a medical cannabis patient we have limits as far as how much THC we can purchase from a dispensary in any given state in any given month so, um, I've been doing a lot of work and talking to my providers about, you know, upping my limits and just kind of explaining to them how the cannabis treatment is going to go. I've been doing a lot of educating 
um, and talking to my doctors, which I honestly feel like something I shouldn't have to do. I feel like um, a lot of doctors should just be willing to have the conversation and do their own research in regards to cannabis treatments for their patients. Um, but I finally had a conversation with an endocrinologist who was really excited and interested i won't say really excited but he was interested in learning more about how i'm trying to use cannabis as a form of treatment and he was open to learning more so i thought that was dope so i'll be sending him more information about the rso treatments and um we'll see where it goes from there also had another conversation well i had the first conversation with my primary care provider who is a black woman she's a naturopathic doctor um I haven't seen her many times in the past, but I do consider her my primary care provider. Um, she's been very helpful in the past as far as educating me on diet and, you know, plant-based nutrition and things like that. So I thought that um, she would really be on board with my decision to use medical cannabis um, for this thyroid condition. But um, when I went to go see her, she was not excited about it at all. She was just um, very concerned about um, my ability to mother um, and the boys and, you know, the boys' future with um, something as, you know, aggressive as cancer could be and the fear associated with, um, you know, how unknown or how little we know about how cancer progresses she was really concerned and so she was just like i do not support your cannabis treatment i cannot support this um i don't think it's a good idea and all that stuff and she really spent like 15 to 20 minutes talking to me about you know the boy's future and how they need their mother and all that kind of stuff so that was really unfortunate I thought she'd be more open-minded to learning more about cannabis and she even admitted that she has clients who come to her and ask her about cannabis what she like she tells people it's good for nausea and that's about it <laughs> which i thought you know kind of sucks because cannabis can be used for so much more than just nausea and um you know treating the side effects to chemo and radiation Cannabis can be like the first defense in attacking and improving those cancer cells and or You know restoring our bodies to proper functioning. So um, Yeah, that was a, a bummer for me, but I'm not uh, giving up. I'm still determined to To continue my cannabis treatment and hoping to heal my thyroid um, with RSO So the major issue that I've had has been definitely the cost uh, associated with this treatment um, and the biggest issue with that being here in the state of Maryland medical cannabis patients cannot home cultivate our own plants so I have to depend on dispensaries and cultivators for my RSO and it really sucks because this little thing is sixty grand sixty dollars and I can grow one plant and have a year supply, um, have my whole treatment of RSO ready. Um, so right now I'm actually considering uh, relocating to a state that allows home cultivation just for this reason because it's so important to not only have safe access to cannabis but affordable access as well. Um, the $65 syringe that I have right here is not an affordable option for um securing the whole 60 grams that i need for my treatment so i'm still trying to work my way around um i guess continuing my cannabis treatment with rso and trying to figure out the best um the most financially responsible way to to do this treatment because like i said i do not have, insurance does not cover um cannabis medication so that's my rso I got this yesterday and I used it last night um, and we had a lot of fun um, just trying to up my tolerance with it and um, it was wonderful so thank you Verano for this Jack Herrera number eight hope I was able to answer your questions about the updates to my thyroid cancer treatment with cannabis I'm hoping to start my RSO treatment really soon I know it's been a while I am 
like I said, um, increasing my tolerance. Um, but I'm also more interested in um, growing my own plants instead of buying one gram syringes of RSO. So like I said, I'm looking toward um, kind of relocating to a place where I can home cultivate and home grow. I think as a caregiver and as a patient, that will save me so much money and a lot of time as well. So if you are using cannabis for a thyroid treatment, um, please let me know what you're doing, what options you have, what your access to cannabis has been like, what your experience has been like, what your doctors have been saying. Um, and stay encouraged, stay positive. I know it's not easy talking to doctors about cannabis, um, but just know that you are not alone. We are out here and um, all that good stuff. Uh, stay inspired, stay motivated, stay encouraged, stay loved, show love, um, and stay high, stay positive, stay CBD'd up, <laughs> stay enthused. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to sharing more information with you as time goes on. Again, follow me on Instagram at the Cannabis Doula, and I hope to talk to you soon. Peace.